during the first presidential debate on 27th of June, the very first question asked by the anchor CNN, Jake Table, was how to resolve inflation problem. And he asked this question. Inflation has slowed, but prices remain high. The price of essential has increased, for example, a basket of grocery that cost 100 US dollars then now cost more than 120 US dollars. And typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. In today's tutorial, we will track the potential price of this important staple, wheat, which is used to make our bread. In this study, we will use a combination of technical analysis and fundamental developments to support this view. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And what we're seeing here is the relationship between the wheat prices and the US inflation CPI. And since the beginning of time, they move in sync together. And wheat move ahead of CPI. Why is it so? Because we could see that the wheat prices peak and a few weeks later, followed by the CPI to peak at 9%, the highest in the recent decades that was in June 2022. And it fall to about 3%. And for a year by now, the CPI is still above at 3%. And where would be the wheat prices to be to affect the CPI? And let's try to understand the various factors that would affect the wheat prices. And number one would be the supply and demand. And if you are a trader, when I say trader, I'm referring to the physical trader that import and export wheat. And we all know that the whenever there's a greater demand than supply, the wheat prices will move up. And the second factor that will affect the wheat prices is the weather. But I would say that it's quite cyclical and it's quite predictable. But in the recent years, the geopolitical factors, it play a much bigger role in escalating the prices of commodities. And let's look at the next image that I've prepared for you. Because whenever there's a blockage of supply chain due to geopolitical issues, vessels that carries all these goods will have to incur more costs and this increasing cost will ultimately pass down to the consumer. And we could see that in 2022 is the start of Russia-Ukraine conflict. There was a blockage of the supply chain. And so is the 2023, the Middle East conflict, there was a blockage of the supply chain. And in this year, the China and US trade war intensified again with US imposed 100% tariff on EVs. And this caused again a blockage to the busiest trading route in the world, the Strait of Malacca and to the port in Singapore. And let's try to understand some trading techniques here, or I would say that let me just give you my outlook using the technical, but we will also use this geopolitical tension to support this view. And let's try to understand the uh, bigger time frame, the quarterly chart, and we can see we can track the wheat prices since the 70s until today. And with the printing of money, we could see that there's a elevation of uh, inflation, wheat prices also represent inflation. Uh, ideally, the central bank hope that the elevation is percent and what we could see here is that uh, with this trend line effective trend line we could see one trough two trough three trough join very nicely together and I will try to mirror this and see that if there's a strong relationship for me to use this trend line and this is what I'm going to use I'm going to clone this and I'm going to check if there's a strong relationship and I'm going to extend this on the right. And I would say that this uptrend channel is pretty beautiful with the highest peak, which, which is psychological. And we could see that there was a false break and most of the prices stationed around here. 
and we could see lots of false break here. And I would say that this uptrend line may continue in decades to come. And let's try to understand what happened to the shorter term because of the geopolitical tension that we just mentioned. Using the same technique, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to con connect this three peak together. And what I could see here, or maybe I should just take off the extension. And to join them in the most organic way, I'm looking for at least three significant peaks. And I could see that there were one, two, and a few here. Now, this became a very important breakout because whenever I could identify a um, very effective downtrend line, if it's being broken, to me, it means something. It could mean that the trend of the inflation of wheat prices have begun to start to move up here. That's what I'm seeing here potentially, but I suspect that because of this geopolitical tension that we are facing, the globe are facing today, uh, we could see that the month or the weekly chart that we're looking at here, uh, there's potentially there's a hammer that's forming that I'm suspecting that the market may reverse and start to move up from here, the wheat prices. And of course, then we got to think about how will that impact the CPI data. During the first presidential debate on 27th of June, the very first question asked by the anchor CNN, Jake Table, was how to resolve the inflation problem. And he asked this question. Inflation has slowed, but prices remain high. The price of essential has increased, for example, a basket of grocery that cost 100 US dollars then now cost more than 120 US dollars and typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. With the geopolitical tension around where do you think the potential prices of wheat are heading? The market is always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stayed through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.